Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian. And Jinx here. And welcome to Assassin's Creed Valhalla on the PlayStation 5. So again, we're just playing another random game that I've been playing off camera in my free time while we are kind of in this down period of December and January. This will also be our last video before we go on our January break, the vacation we typically take around this time of year. Just take a week off, kind of relax, no work, no YouTube, no uh, homeschooling, none of that. That'll be nice. None of that busy work that we're constantly doing. And uh, that'll be starting on Monday the 17th, and we'll be back on the 26th, January 26th. We'll be back from that break. Uh, we just typically do this in January because this is like the worst period for uh, ad revenue. Just the worst lull. month. Yeah. Yep. Now all the uh, all the businesses have blown their wads <laughs> on December and the Christmas time. They're all taking a break too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so we, we usually do this vacation here in January, and then we'll also take like a week sometime in the summer as well. Um, yeah, I wanted to to show this game during this period because I've been playing this off camera for months, <laughs> months, guys, and I haven't played for. It's been a month since I played last time, so do forgive me if I'm a little bit rusty on the, the combat and the buttons and stuff. Uh, but yeah, I've been really enjoying it. It's perhaps one of my favorite of the more recent Assassin's Creed games. You know, the ones ever since they uh, you know went to the more RPG style of gameplay with the uh, Origins. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I like this one better than both Origins and the, uh, the Greek one, which what was that one called? Odyssey. Odyssey, yeah. This is the only one that I've really been interested in oh, playing Oh, man. I think myself. we just got ambushed. Shoot him in the kneecap. <laughs> <laughs> Did they just set himself on fire? Oh. Dang him. Yeah, so this guy's got... Yeah, I want to be a Viking. Oh, Go we are Viking. tired? Should we call our wolfen? Oh, some churches. <laughs> You get a dad? Yeah, we get a wolf. This guy's just like Ooh, chucking him up. Just fire all over the place. <laughs> He's just chucking him up in the air. Where'd the wolf go? He ran off. I guess because the combat's done. Like there's no more buds to bite. <laughs> but yeah, I've been, I've been really enjoying this one. I don't know why I took a week off. I guess because we've been playing Mass Effect. Yeah, I've been playing Mass Effect. That's why. <laughs> He came right at us, didn't he? <laughs> uh, where we're going is right over to that location, guys. Which, well, let me call the raven. I have a raven, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like uh, Origins and Odyssey, you do have a bird that you get to play as, which I absolutely love this mechanic ever since I added it. I mean, it was just brilliant being able to you know, fly over Greece and Egypt with a bird. Now you get to do it to, with England as well. I started Origins. I just couldn't stick with it, though. Yeah, I had trouble sticking with that, too. I don't know, man. Like, the story just wasn't grabbing me on that one. And then the Greek one, I also had trouble with that one. Like, I don't know. There's just something about that one. I know everybody loved Odyssey. And I played a lot of hours in it. I mean, I dropped like 30, 40 hours in it, so it's not like I just quit after 10 hours. It's a long, long game, though. It was pretty. That's for sure. Yeah, they're all they're all really pretty games. Which, if you've never played these games before, uh, what you're seeing on YouTube is really not the most accurate representation, or at least here on this 1080 uh, video. There are so many critters. Yeah, they're everywhere. Is that a rabbit? That's a chunky boy. <laughs> yeah, that was a big old rabbit. Do you get anything from killing them? Yeah, you get the leather. the leather. Yeah, you get like different uh, goodies and stuff. These are all of the king's animals. <laughs> yeah, we're we're poachers. Kinda but uh, we're a, kill them all. we're a Viking jinx, <laughs> so we don't give a shit about what the king king wants. It's like, I'm sorry, dear. This is an act of rebellion. <laughs> Your death means something. But yeah, it's uh, probably my favorite of the of the three more recent games. Which I used to love the Assassin's Creed series, and I think I just got sick of it. Because they just kept coming out with them. <laughs> and I played them all. Like, all of them I've at least played. And I, I was at where I was, like, c 
continuing, you know, all the way to the end and actually completing all the Assassin's Creed games. Are these guys bad guys? I, I used so. to watch you play them and then, like, help out with puzzles and mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah, I remember. I like, I Back on, like, the Assassin's Creed 2 days. do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it got... It got tiring. It just felt like we were playing the same game over and over again. I'm waiting for one of these guys to hit me. I was going to counter it, but they're, like, scared. Oh, he threw mud in my face or poop. I'm pretty sure that was poop. That looked like poop, right? Yeah. There's no way that was just mud. Do you get to, like, rage out after that? Because that's disgusting. You didn't see me rage out? Chucking axes at him? I I mean, sure. I was quite frustrated. It felt a little (laughs) dramatic, but... (laughs) Oh. Okay, so I think we can blow that up right there. A Dane's letter. I'll let you guys read that if you so desire. We're gonna eat some shrimps up. Nope, our rations are full. Yeah, they have an interesting mechanic in this one. Oops. Can't figure out what I want to do with this. We're gonna throw it over there. Or we're not. We're gonna <laughs> set it down. I thought it said R2 to throw it. Yeah, and it's been a month since I played, guys. No, it's L2 to aim and then R2 to throw. Got it. We're gonna explode that. And, uh,. Maybe wait till the fire dissipates, yeah. Oh, I don't know what is down here. We might want to... This could be something expansive. We should probably go... It's too late. (laughs) Do what we came here to do first, which is to climb up to the top of this. So I'd like to do a raid in this this video, guys. I was going to do a story mission, uh, but the the, uh, story mission that I'm currently on is kind of boring. So I don't think that's what you guys want to see. I almost forgot it was Assassin's Creed for a minute. I'm like, why is he climbing like that? <laughs> <laughs> the Vikings just be climbing on uh-huh. our ship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just the same old, you know, Assassin's Creed games. And they just got kind of a... Uh, again, this felt like I'd already done it. I didn't want to do it anymore. And, you know, I loved Assassin's Creed 2 and Brotherhood. And uh, Revolutions was okay. I'm gonna synchronize this. Assassin's Creed 3 was great because it was in America, but the character is kind of boring. Yeah, a little bit. Black Flag was cool. Black Flag was awesome. Probably playing that one. Probably the best Assassin's Creed game. I just like the shanties. They just want to float around on a boat. <laughs> yeah, the shanties were awesome. I wonder if we can just leap off of this into that hole. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> we'll go down the safe way. Yeah, Black Flag was fantastic. You know, they took the the naval combat from 3 and and then just made a whole game out of it. Which is what I wanted, because I played that that 3 and I was thinking, like, imagine if this was, like, actually a game. And then they actually made a game with it. Yeah, Black Flag is probably the best one. Why should be nothing in here? (laughs) Yeah. Oh, we got a book of knowledge. That gives us a new ability point. Ooh, shiny pots. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, it gave us a new ability, actually. Hold up. We got the Blinding Rush. Use stamina to move undetected. Ends upon enemy contact. Is it just, like, quiet running? What does it seem like? Yeah. So if you're uh, using a lot of stealth, might be a good ability to have. I find myself stealthing in this one way less than I did in, in previous Assassin's Creed. It just doesn't feel right. <laughs> like, I just want to fight in this one. It, it doesn't help that the uh, the combat is so fun in this one. And they really opened it up. I mean, they kind of started doing that with the uh, the Greek one, which also had pretty fun, fun combats. I mean, yeah, but this one is just way better, man. They let you dual wield just about anything. So right now we have a big ol' axe because, I mean, our Viking... Uh, maybe we'll show this a little bit later. Uh, but you can just pick any two weapons and, and dual wield them or a shield or whatever. Uh, so yeah, now that we've unre- uh, or excuse me, now that we've uh, climbed up the top and and revealed the map I here. To the bottom. Is that poop still on my face? I'm pretty sure it is. Yep. That is. Or, or no, oh. never mind. <laughs> That's a shadow. <laughs> I was about to say. I'm just walking is around with poop on chocolate? my face. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do this one right here, guys. But we'll spawn here so that we can go with our, our long ship. So we'll fast travel over here. Like, why use... do we not dress like this anymore as a people? I know, <laughs> right? Uh, there is character customization in a way. You get to be a male or a female character. 
which they started doing that with the the Greek game. They gave you two characters to play as. Although I think in this one you play as the same character, it's just a male or a female version. Where in the Greek one it was two completely different characters and they're, you know, sister and brother. This character kind of looks like you. Well, yeah, you get to customize the look of the character. And so, yeah, I changed his uh, his beard to kind of look a little bit like mine. Where it's... Uh, I keep trying to braid it, long, but let me. Long, you know, at the... <laughs> <laughs> long on the chin, but really uh, unkept <laughs> along the cheeks. <laughs> and unfortunately, I don't have any hair, so... I did play as a bald Viking for a little while, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to have... I don't have any hair in real life. I'm not able to remember how to call my ship. Yeah, I was like, I don't have any hair in real life. I can have some goddamn hair in a game. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the classic Viking cut here. I want that cut for myself. Man, you can uh, customize the facial hair. Uh, you know, obviously the hair on his head. And the tattoos as well. And you don't really have much at start. And you actually have to like buy or find a lot of them. I have a cat. It's a beautiful cat. Yeah, I found the cat and wanted to come along, so I said, sure. If this was real life, of course, I would not be taking this cat with me. You'd be sneezing his ass yeah, off. Yeah, I'd be sneezing the whole damn time. You can't, embarrassing. can't be a badass Viking sneezing the whole time. Hang on, time out. <laughs> I've got to snuffles. Yeah, I have to carry a tissue around. <laughs> Handkerchief. I'm just going to blow my nose on the cat. So yeah, we're just going to sail down this river here and do a Viking raid, which these are, are really cool. It's a good way to get, like, wealth and treasures. Imagine having a cat and then not knowing that you're allergic to cats <laughs> and just thinking that that's your life and you're a weirdo. Yeah, well, that's what my childhood was that like. That was what mine was, too. <laughs> yeah, because... Like, why can't I breathe? My mom really liked cats. Yeah, we had a ton of cats. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, we had cats everywhere, and I didn't know I was allergic to them. I just know that I was, like, sniffly all the damn time. I'm not nearly as allergic as you are. Like, if you're even around anyone who's been around a cat, Yeah, then like, I start oh dying. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. I'm, like, terribly allergic to cats. All right, so I believe this one's kind of far off of the river, so we've got to walk to go. <laughs> we got to go run all the way up here like to actually do the raid. When you were coming. There's nobody out here. So you can see them, everybody running. Trying to get inside. So we're going to raid this, this little village here. <laughs> oh, now he's running. Now he's running. <laughs> he didn't know. Where are my dudes? Oh, okay. We just went different routes the same place. Well, it looks like we got prisoners here, so we're going to let them out. I assume those are Viking men. So they just locked them up with their weapons? Apparently so. Their weapons, their armor. Oh, that's... Oh, you're shooting them in the face. Oh, I'm not even shooting the door. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to let them all out. Yeah, I'm going to go stop they really that guy. They should have took their weapons when <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to beat this guy's face in. <laughs> and then headbutt him? And then headbutt him, yeah. With his helmet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with his... yeah, we don't wear helmets. You are so cool. <laughs> It's probably the haircut. Uh huh. It's a haircut of invincibility. <laughs> uh, you got a cowardly archer over here. We'll take care of him. And somebody's got a key over there. I'm an archer. <laughs> <laughs> it's not cowardly. <laughs> is the a... cat raiding the chickens? There was a cat running around. You sure that's not... Oh, yeah, there is a cat chasing oh, the chickens. Oh, he is raiding the chickens. It's not our cat, but yeah. Well, he's got the Viking spirit. <laughs> Do you need another cat? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm sucking, guys. I haven't really watched you play this one much because you play after I go yeah, to Yeah, after you go to sleep, typically. Although I haven't played very much lately. Yeah. yeah, and it's been like a month since I played. And then even then, I was playing for months, and this is as far as I've gotten. <laughs> so, <laughs> kind of shows... I keep getting distracted with other games, essentially. You just showed me that Damn. you could pet a dog. Yep, that's pretty much all I showed, Jinx. But you can pet dogs. Well, well that's all I'm I need I'm sold on that game. Can I pet all the dogs? You can, and then they follow you around a little. What is this guy doing? <laughs> He's like, I don't know. looking down on his I think he his, his pants. Yeah. I don't know what was going on there. 
I love these giant kitty cats. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do some raiding. That's the whole kind of purpose of these is to get the golden treasure. So a lot of times you can't get through some of these doors like uh, I think this one here unless you got your raiding group with you. Yeah, I was and so say, you can where get are the Right here, we're going to oh, hit yeah. this church up, this monastery, whatever it is. With their jingly cloaks. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you can't break through the door without some assistance. And she's just going to stand at the door and not let me go in. Oh, this is one of the nimbly bimbly guys. Oh, they both are. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have trouble hitting them. My character's not a nimbly bimbly guy. <laughs> Shoot him in the kneecap. <laughs> See how the kneecaps are all lit up? Yeah, they are. Uh-huh. Like, that's his weakness. Uh-huh. I'm pretty sure that's every human being's weakness. <laughs> we might have to counter. There we go. I'm gonna do a stun cold, attack here. Mild what did ass. I just do? Some weird spin thing. Hurts my knees. <laughs> well, it has finally gotten cold in Colorado. Like, we had a good solid couple of months where we typically have snow. And we didn't have any until, I think, January 1st, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was our first snow. And it wasn't much. Alright, so we're gonna let all these guys out. Oh, these don't look like Vikings. Well, they're free regardless. Mm -hmm. Maybe they'll join us. Right, so I think we got a couple things left to, to loot. And I never did grab that dude's key. I don't know if we'll need it or not, but we'll grab it. And it looks like they might have had some reinforcements come here. Oh, he's not even dead. <laughs> he's trying to pretend to be dead. <laughs> he was hiding amongst the dead. Well, it was working on your guys. Yeah, they were just standing around. They didn't see it. They don't have the special eagle vision thing that we have. <laughs> All right, so we got the key you and the Melbourne door heartbeats. key. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this location. There was like the weird hey, question over mark over that guy's head. Was there? Maybe he had a mission or something. Don't mind us with our raiding. I've got a quest for you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the monks running. <laughs> Help! Of course they're hiding with their treasures. <laughs> So these uh, goodies that you get here, like these supplies and stuff, this is for upgrading your town. But you have a little village that gets like larger and larger. And I love how they walk around like looting too. Mm -hmm. They walk around getting all the goodies in this place. Shoving shit in their pockets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which I think is interesting watching them run around, grab all the loot in here. But again, the raids are just super fun. But we'll have to show the village before we, we finish this video up. For those of you who haven't seen it before. Can I just smash in there? No, I can't. <laughs> we have the key though, so we can just unlock it. Keys are for losers. <laughs> Let's get the book of knowledge here. And that'll upgrade our mark of death, which we already had. Just moved it up another level. Level two increases maximum number of targets. I don't even think I'm using that right now. Yeah, the, that's the raid. I think we've gotten everything they got here. We got Did all the goodies. Free everyone? We might not have freed everybody yet. Yeah, I think that's the guy with the quest. <laughs> <laughs> so if we had come here while not on a raid, then we would have been able to get the quest from. This guy's trying to break this door down even though we've already <laughs> broken through the other the other uh, door. Give him an A for effort. Thank you, friend. So yeah, we'll go and break everybody out, so I don't want to leave any. I would feel so bad if I left anyone behind. Now, of course, we've been calling them Vikings all throughout yeah. the video. And if I don't say something, somebody's going to feel the need to correct us. Viking course, is a verb. Yeah, to, it's to go Viking. Means to go raiding. And these were... The, the people were called the Norse. Or Danes. You know, they're from Denmark. Wherever they were from. Yeah. Now, Norse was typically applied to everybody that was from the North. But that was usually more for, like, those from Norway. And then, of course, you have the Swedes from Sweden. But they didn't raid England much. Piggies. Hey, we got a bunch of pigs here. Can you pet the piggies? I don't think so. Aww. No, you can't pet the pigs. Pigs need petting, too. Yeah, look at all these pigs eating apples and That's stuff. That's not nice. But, yeah, it was mostly the Danes who raided England. And then the, uh, uh, the Norse or the Norwegians, they raided uh, Scotland and Ireland particularly. And then the uh, the Swedes, they didn't really come west that much. They mostly raided the, uh, the Russian principalities. 
How did they know you were ready to go? They just know. As soon as they see me run out of the ship, everybody gets gets on. That's They're cool. ready to go. Because I know they know I'm not gonna wait for them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave there. I will leave you. Uh, so we could go into this area. This is a higher level area. Area. So you notice that this was fairly easy because we're in a pretty low level uh, region here. Oh. Now this is oh, something. Somebody else's. This is somebody's picture. This is something I really hate. So they added this in I think the the Origins game where you can see like your friends' pictures and stuff like that. But they had an option to just completely remove it, so you, you never saw anybody's pictures. But now you can't do that. You can only remove them individually and say, like, hide them. And so you hide that one picture. Oh. And then you got to do that for every picture. And then next time you play, oh, at least the online broke. So <laughs> <laughs> Or you can just try and break the online. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of uh, irritating. Is oh. it your friends or just people in general? I think it's all friends. I'm not entirely sure, though. I didn't recognize that name. Yeah, maybe it wasn't. Yeah, I didn't recognize the name either, but... Uh, so, there's a mission here. I don't know if he'll give it to us, though, because he's still kind of sprinting around scared. <laughs> so, we won't do that. Let's see what all we can do here. We could just could try and do this more challenging raid, I suppose. Yeah, we'll go that way. It's not that far down the river. I did want to show the village once, though. Do we have enough time to do another raid? I know these are kind of longer. Yeah, I think we got enough time. All right, so yeah, we'll do uh, one more raid, and this one should be more challenging because it's in a, a higher level area, which I don't know if I showed the map here yet. But the uh, areas are, you know, based on like a power level, which you can see your power level when you go to the skills here, or power level 67. Essentially, every time you level up, you'll get a skill point. Once you spend it, you'll uh, get a new power level. Mm. And so this is the way I've gone. You know, very Skyrim. -y. <laughs> yeah, I've gone very like these are kind of like stealth moves and you know like picking up bolts. Like I pick up anything off the ground and chuck it. At, it could be a sword or spear, or anything. I'll chuck it at somebody. You just throw things. Yeah, I throw things. And this is the more like roguish, stealthier assassination route. So Where's like this the is given. Route? It's the red route up at the top, so we got oh, missile okay. reversal. Some, somebody throws something at me, I can throw it back at them. That's it's kind of hard cool. to do, though. But yeah, this is the more brutish route. The problem with this route, because this would normally be the way I'd go. You see me running around with an axe. But the problem with this route is I don't really like a lot of the abilities. Because you can see all the abilities you get, despite it being kind of locked. I like that. You can see the main abilities, just not the little ones. Mm. Which these are just like little uh, passive. passive bonuses. But yeah, I was looking through here, and yeah, I just didn't like as many of these. Some of these are alright. Yeah, they, it felt like la uh, a little lackluster compared to the other routes. Oh my god, you've killed so many birds. <laughs> and turn this song off. Yeah, I just didn't feel as though it was exciting. Like the abilities weren't as exciting. Who's playing the, the guitar? Is this a raid round? <laughs> or did we already raid there? I might have already raided there. Yeah, I think we already raided that. I'm pretty active with the rating. I like, <laughs> I like rating. Oh yeah, I was showing the map here. So yeah, this is the, the level 90 area that we're gonna go into here in a minute. You see, I haven't really explored it much because it is a bit higher. It's dangerous. Yeah. So we've all explored here. We haven't gone up north into Northumbria yet. Uh, I haven't gone down into Wessex yet either, which is level 160 or 340 here for. Jeez. Yeah, for the capital. Which is not London at this time. Of course, this time England is split into multiple kingdoms. Had uh, Wessex and Northumbria and Essex. You just said Essex? No, I said Wessex. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's just like uh, West Saxony and East Saxony. And of course, there was a Sussex originally as well. And no, I'm forgetting one of the big ones. What am I forgetting? Wales? No. No, Wales isn't really, that's not England. But Wales is kind of, this would be kind of Wales here, I think, off towards the uh, the far west here. Mercia is what I'm forgetting about. In the middle. Oh, yeah. Mercia. That's a big one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was, uh, I think, the most powerful one at the time that the Vikings started their raids. Yeah, I think they're the most powerful. Might have been Wessex by that point, though. I'm not sure. So we'll do the raid here. 
at night. It'll be a night raid. <laughs> and so this time, we don't have as far to run to do the raid. And we'll see if this one's actually more challenging. Because this one's, you know, a higher level than, than we are. But so far, I haven't found any of the, ch the raids to actually be challenging. But what I really like about this one is that it really incentivizes just getting into the combat. Because, you know, it's had this uh, endurance system or, or stamina system. And you often got to, like, stop fighting for a while to, mm -hmm. to, to rest up. Catch your breath. But in this one, the, uh, the light attacks, the R1, when they hit, it increases your stamina. Oh, that's cool. So it encourages you to stay up in combat and like stay in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then Let's you have like your grab. ability bars that you got to build up. Yeah. Yeah. You're building those up so that you can use them. Well, this is a nice place. Yeah. This is a nice little area. I'm wondering where all the damn enemies are. They got treasure. <laughs> but yeah, the power move still uh, uses your stamina up. Use this here. Probably should have called the wolf. Yeah, just flinging nice. axes. <laughs> Where are your friends? You know what? I'm not entirely sure. I think they might still be down there fighting. I, mean, I think we have one here. Uh, let's use is that whatever your this is. <laughs> How'd I miss him? <laughs> he does that cool move. Probably because it took like 10 minutes to do that jump. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, not in the same place. <laughs> Take a sword and stab him. That's a stun attack? <laughs> <laughs> well, when they're stunned, you can basically kill them, yeah. Like, that's a little more than stun there, friend. I guess we should try using... Oh, I'm locked on here. Yeah, we should try using some other uh, weapons. Kind of show how the, the dual weapons work here. So we'll change over to just an axe. And... And then I really like... This weapon here, the Iron Star, is just fun to use. It's not as powerful, but I just like swinging it around. <laughs> <laughs> just swing around my head. Who wants some? I mean, it seems scary, right? It's not that great, honestly. <laughs> yeah. It's just for show. <laughs> now, it's strange to be a lot more faster. I got all used to this, the slower player. move. I don't think I can block that one. I'm trying really hard to hit him with this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody chopped his head off. Damn. Civilian casualties will re result in desynchronization. I guess somebody uh, killed somebody. I don't know if that was me or... You can't kill civilians? No. That's the case with all the Viking games. Or, or with all the uh, Assassin's Creed games for some time. Because you're playing as a hero. Are not just you? the You're supposed to be. <laughs> I don't know in Black Flag if you could. Probably not, but that's my whip thingy. So we're gonna try and do some special moves here. So what is this hero trying to accomplish? What do you mean? We're we're here to take over England from the English, from the, or from, from the uh, Saxons, I should say. <laughs> yeah, free them from themselves. <laughs> Free them of their goodies. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. I'm sure there's there's a some way that it's explained. <laughs> I think we need to get in here. Oh, it's barred from the other Not side. Not that I don't completely agree with their cause. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're going to break into this one here. Although we got, got a bunch of dudes still out here. Why are they going so slowly? <laughs> But yeah, I definitely prefer the, the bigger axe. You said you get a custom, like, companion character, kind of? Yeah, yeah, kind of. I mean, it's not really so much a companion, but you have different characters that you bring onto your, uh, you know, onto your ship with you. Mm-hmm. And you can hire different people. You can get people in the story as well. Also, we could be burning down all their stuff, by the way. See how they're setting fire to everything? Mm -hmm. We could be helping them with those fires. Can we'll kill you this name guy real your quick. friend? You pick a name for him, but you don't get to actually like write the name out. Is Utrid one? <laughs> I don't know. You just kind of randomize it, and then oh. and then you you know select one of them, and then you kind of pick what they look like or whatever. 
and uh, then other people can hire them, or you can hire the people that others have created and bring them onto your ship with you. Uh, so yeah, they're just on the ship with you, and they, they come on the raids, essentially. I think you have like, I don't know, I think you can unlock more, but I think you start with maybe four or something like that. Special characters that you can bring with you. I thought this was one of my guys. Just ran right by him. Is there anything left other than the, the goodies? Any people left? There's a house over there that's not on fire. <laughs> we should probably <laughs> fix better that. Remedy that. Yeah, let's rectify that. Alright, so we'll get our torch out here and chuck it. Burn their house down. The pickle just lights <laughs> something on fire. I feel like we should have chased her down and killed her, but again, that it's not allowed in <laughs> Assassin's Creed games. <laughs> I just feel like it takes that's, away the authenticity. That's one, of, that's one of my guys right there. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, he's cool. Yeah, you can get some pretty cool people. Maybe when we go back to the, I mean, uh, the really crib. It's not practical, but <laughs> <laughs> he looks scary. Yeah, when we go back to the crib, I'll show you all the different people you can have for that I have unlocked right now. What's his name? Uh, I don't know. Wow. <laughs> you don't know your friends? Name. I haven't played for a month, Jinx. <laughs> Something happened with Timothy. He has taken more than his portion of porridge three times wow. running. Wow. Wow, Tim. Wow. All right, so we'll get this. This is clearly not one of the locations with the loot, though. There's probably a tiny Tim who didn't <laughs> get enough porridge. Uh-huh, because Big Tim took it all. all right, so we'll get in here, and then there's one more thing to get. Look at this little... It's exciting. Hey, can't leave this alone. <laughs> I yeah. hate the art style of this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like maybe people really look like that. I don't know. <laughs> I just always think I'm glad I wasn't alive during that time. Let's go like running up the ladder. <laughs> would have sucked. <laughs> I mean, I guess it wouldn't have been up to me, but... <laughs> One thing that I always think about, because, I mean, I think people look the same for the most part. I mean, like, mm -hmm. we've gotten a little taller and a little bigger overall because of our healthier diets. But uh, for the most part, you know, we look the same as we've always looked. But I bet we smelt really bad back then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where's this archer? Oh, he's hiding up there. Clever archer. Is he still alive? I think he shot an arrow right before he died. <laughs> it just took forever to get to you. Yeah. Alright, so we need to get through there. Yeah, we are lacking a lot of goodies. Well, can we, like, break that there? It looks like we can break that. Who is shooting at and There's me? archers up on there. Yeah, they're oh, like... Too. Oh, okay. That's why he's on that. Oh. Alright, so yeah, he's damn. mucking us up pretty bad. Yeah. Ouch. Mm-hmm. God damn. And I you. don't remember how to heal. There we go. That's the right. Is he shooting his own? Good. God. No, he's on a big... Th <laughs> he's on one of those big things. That's how he's... <laughs> Even the pigs are scared. Yeah, we're going to climb up here and kill this guy because he's pissing me off. <laughs> <laughs> and then we can get on it as well. Far too much fun, guy. Uh, we can also sabotage it. Maybe we'll do that before we leave here. I wonder if we can break through the doors with this. Oh, nope. that's lame. Mm-hmm. I thought I got all the way up in. There's nobody to shoot. Okay. So yeah, we'll just sabotage it so nobody else can use it. Or we'll get back on it. So yeah, we'll blow that up. Jump. And then go back <laughs> into here. Roll is funny. Yeah, that's one of the abilities that you unlock. So that you can, uh... Maybe burst through here or something? Well, this is kind of weird. Alright. Yeah, the roll is one of the uh, abilities that you can you can unlock. It just lets you fall from greater heights and take less damage. Right, so we'll loot these goodies here. See what all they got. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Lying like a little bitch when I touched him. Alan Page wants to be your close friend. Sorry, Alan Page, but I don't know who you are, man. <laughs> I'm not sure why so many people ask us. If, if you're one of those people that has sent us a friend request, 
don't send a close friend request. Yeah. Like, it's just weird. If I don't know you, it's one thing to, like, you know, be with friends with people from the channel, but a close friend? You should get to know each other at least yeah. a little bit. <laughs> Buy me a drink or something. Before you want to know <laughs> my name. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Give me a hand. Need a little bit of assistance in here. Oh, <laughs> there's a hole in the wall. <laughs> Very uh, secure. Yeah, we could have just went through there. I think our men probably did that. We were ravaging this town. I don't know. I think a priest got scared and Kool-Aid <laughs> manned it. Yeah. Got to get out of here. But why didn't you stay in the locked locked uh, little He's room scared. here? The roof is on fire. True. Yeah, I guess the roof is on fire. That would be terrifying. I wouldn't want to be burned alive. That is not a good way to go. I don't think that is a good way to go. So we gotta figure out how to get into this building here. I bet you gotta climb. Might have to. Although you could just go through a window. <laughs> you can go through the windows if they're big enough. Uh, these ones here I don't think will let you go through them. Oh, true. I guess you can break them, but yeah. That's not gonna let you get through there. Sense. We have the bigger windows you can get through. That's barred as well. I think that's the same door. No, no. We've, we've ran all the way around this building. Yeah, it's probably through the top. Yeah, I'm not seeing any other way. Man, I would hate, hate, hate being a woman back in these days. You're <laughs> yeah. like, God damn it. Who's going to try and rape the me today? The Vikings. <laughs> I got to run for the hills again. Or the woods or wherever. Well, it's not just them. This is everybody. Everybody, everybody yeah. Everybody wants to rape you. Just like or not grab again. you and snatch you, bring you somewhere else. I mean, how many times have you been True. snatched by your current husband? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not entirely sure how you get in this place. I'm not seeing any, like, clear openings. I don't think it's up there, either. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, we might not be going in here. I mean, I'm sure there is an entrance. I just don't know what it is. Yeah, we'll just leave it alone, guys. Yeah, there's gotta be. Oh, wait a minute, there's something. No, that's not it. Yeah, there's treasure jinx, but I don't know how to get inside there. I think it's in the steeple. I'm sure there's there's a way in here, but I don't care enough to to mess with it any Could further. Be some catacombs. All right, so I think we got everything but what was in that that room there, and I guess they're just safe. Let's just leave them. <laughs> I'm trying well to just run at it, played, throw myself sirs. into it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at us all just running around. Can't even get in. <laughs> Looking pathetic. So yeah, we'll, we'll finish this right up, guys. Them. Like, come on out, you pansies. I guess you can poke your head through the window. Why are you guys just hanging out? <laughs> they thought the raid was done. Look at the guys that now they thought we left. <laughs> we were messing with that building for so long. Eating a sandwich. <laughs> Look at her. She don't even care. She's not even she scared. She wants to go. She's like, please don't leave me here with these guys. Look at how low her breasts are sagging at this point. She's probably yeah. not as worried. And she's over here rubbing it in your face. Yeah. <laughs> probably not worth taking. <laughs> yeah, I don't even want you. <laughs> if you're willing to come willingly. <laughs> takes all the fun out of it for a character. <laughs> Yeah, we'll climb up here because I think there's somebody up here. We can't leave anybody How did still they alive. Get up here? I think there's a ladder over there or something. Yeah, there's a guy over here. Archer. He's like, damn it, you found me. <laughs> He's the only guy still alive. Is there anybody else up in these areas? Yeah, see, I think he goes across here. <laughs> and then wow. he jumps across here. And then, yeah, he climbs up this way. It's like... A job hazard. It is. <laughs> this is that one place. Well. Yeah, hazard pay or something. <laughs> That'd be that one position nobody wants to work. That'd be I scary. Know. I guess you get left alone up there. Yeah, he almost survived the raid. <laughs> almost. Almost. Wouldn't have been my, from a special alert spider sense. All right. So what we'll do is go ahead and fast travel back to our little camp because I want to kind of show how this looks and might even build a invest something so i saw a notification of this when i came in today the yule festival so this is one of the interesting things about this game is that it has like events that happen based on the real time of like month that you're in and so for like uh when i was playing back in october or november or whatever it was they had like a special event uh, a little holiday event 
that you could participate in. They had all kinds of games to do and, and little uh, missions you could do uh, to get these little coins that you could use to buy a bunch of stuff. And now we got the Yule Festival. I haven't even seen this one yet because I haven't been back to town. It looks like it's all snowy. Well, that's kind of cool. We're gonna party. Novid, the settlement looks quite festive. The Yule celebration is here. It's midwinter, Eivor. Time to drink, fight, and compete in hopes of a bounteous harvest. Yolnir, the Yule God, smiles on us. The days will soon grow longer, my friend. It's all a glorious rebirth about to begin. And you did all this? Not exactly. On a scouting mission, Sunyva and I met a group of... Uh, uh, we call them revelers. They did most of the work. Sunyva's manning the fist fight tournament. <laughs> all in good fun. Meanwhile, I have opened my own shop. Rather than silver, we use what I call Yule tokens. I made them myself. They certainly look homemade. Thank you, yes. Now, before we begin our celebrations, we need to get the brewery and the cattle farm ready for the Yule Feast. And you'd like me to do that, I suppose? I would. And since I'm so fond of you, have some Yule tokens. I expect to see you at the celebrations later. Basically, it's similar to the other event. You get these tokens. It changes the look of your, your village. Uh, so yeah, but usually the village is not all snowy like this. And it is kind of strange to have your village all snowy while the rest <laughs> of the map is regular. I, I wonder how it transitions out of it. Like, if we just start running away from the village, when does the snow stop? It looks like you can see a line. This is like those yeah. cartoons <laughs> where we just have that one cloud over us. <laughs> I mean, at least it kind of transitions. I mean, Colorado out of like the snow. That, so, <laughs> but yeah, that's super strange. It's like literally just snowing over our village, and that is all. <laughs> so these are these little events they have. I do wish that the whole world would kind of react to the seasons. That'd be kind of cool. Though I guess the negative of that is you'd you know because it's real time, you'd be stuck. True. And a certain season for like your entire playthrough if you've you know played it over a couple weeks. So I guess that would be a negative. Yeah, that would suck. Mm -hmm. So this is the side of the village where they always have these little special events. And then there's a bridge across here somewhere. We're just going to hop over there. Can you oh, there's dance? the bridge. I don't know. I haven't done this Yule Festival <laughs> yet. This is the first time I've seen it. Uh, but this part across the river here, the stream, I guess it's not really a river. We'll brag and call it a river. It's not. <laughs> it's a creek. <laughs> it's a creek. <laughs> and yeah, this is the the rest of the location. And yeah, you can really build this place up, uh, which you can use your raven here. Do you have a lady love? Uh, not yet, but I think there is some romance in, in the game. Do you get a baby? I don't know about all that. <laughs> Probably no babies. But yeah, these are all the different things you can like upgrade. So all that raiding that we did, that's what we were doing it for. To be able to uh, upgrade all this stuff here. You have a museum? That's You can. Needed. Yeah, you can build a museum. There's all kinds of stuff you can build. Uh, there's like a stable for you to manage your, your animals. So you can have different horses and, and whatnot. You can change the way your raven looks. So that's the stable and aviary. I don't know that we have that yet. I don't think so. But we could get that right now, I suppose. And uh, we'll see what all it lets us change. Can't remember the button to change back to man. You're stuck as a bird forever. <laughs> forever. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Yeah, we'll run over there and see. Uh, yeah, you get to upgrade all the different stuff. Well, I really like this. They've had this type of, of gameplay in, in Assassin's Creed for a very long time. I think Assassin's Creed 2, maybe? I think that might have been the first one you upgrade stuff. Or upgrade a, a place. I've got some new things in. Well, I think we got to do it in a sign, actually. I have to go. See you soon. Take care. There's a sign somewhere to upgrade this. Here we go. All right, so you see that it's going to cost... 400 supplies of the 3100 we got and 30 of whatever that other thing is. <laughs> so yeah, we'll go and upgrade this. And then we'll see uh, what skins we can get for our horse. And so yeah, now we have a building back here rather than just that tent with our horses and stuff. Ponies. Mm hmm. Let me just get on one. They're synchronized and everything. <laughs> yeah, they even turn their heads together. <laughs> They're very close. Mm-hmm. I think we talked to him. Uh, we can train our mount. I don't know what that does. May I see your story? It makes us better at, at riding it or something. 
So this is the one we currently have. And I don't know that it changes the stats at all. You I think it just changes pretty. the looks. Uh, how much money we got? We got plenty of money. We could get like a black horse if we wanted. Which one you like? A gluttony? All of them. <laughs> What's the name of that horse? <laughs> gluttony. <laughs> Oh, what's like your favorite one. one? This one? Yeah. So these horses are the same breed here, apparently, or same look. They just have a different saddle. I like the traditional saddle. You like this one here? Yeah. Yeah, sure, why not? All right. So we've got Lamry. Something like that, Lamry. And then we can uh, equip that horse. And then we can go to the aviary and change up the look of a bird. So this is our current bird. We can change Savage. a black and white one, blue shades. I kind of like that one. Yeah, I like that one too. Yeah, we'll change that one. Blow our money here. <laughs> Die our animals. <laughs> <laughs> All done. All right. But he didn't I'll even stop later, scooping poop to look at you. <laughs> I don't know these scooping poop jinx, but you gotta keep working. Work never stops. I mean that's true. So now we got a new horse. That's not a new horse. Yeah, this doesn't. He didn't have the same saddle that we saw in that it picture. Doesn't even look the same. No, that's not the horse. Okay, maybe this is not our Did horse you here. Just snatched somebody's pony. Yeah, I think so. Yep, just snatched his pony. Sorry, that pony just let you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't remember how to whistle. Oh, here we go. There we go. There's our horse. I mean, they're all kind of my horses, Jinx. <laughs> True. This is my village. This is, of course, our, our longhouse. That's nice. And we have a room in here as well. Hey, your pup. Yep. There's a wolf in here. Hey, my boy. So that's our pet you wolf. You just walk by him without petting him? Wow. Oh, Lord. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me pet him. I mean, maybe wow. you can't pet the wolf. Well, he's mad. You hurt his feelings. You can pet the dogs. But yeah, I don't know that let you pet that, but this is our bedroom. Here. I want a bedroom like that. And so, like, we and can lots of furs. go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, those furs look super warm. It'd be hot, and I'd get all sweaty. That's why Jinx would be really comfortable. I would. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't sleep under him, too. The ladies. Uh huh. Well, he didn't even take his clothes off <laughs> to go to sleep here. He sleeps with all his clothes on. He's tired. He's exhausted, I guess. I've been that tired. You just sleep with your clothes on, come home yeah. and work like I'm not even bothering. <laughs> and then uh, we get like little personal letters here. We don't have anything now because nobody loves us. That's a fire hazard there, but okay. <laughs> you gonna burn your whole damn place down. Uh, but yeah, this is where you get your letters. People you know, give you quests or thank you for things you've done for them. Where are all of your passed out friends? Nobody likes this, Not apparently. Not much of a festival. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, everybody's out playing in the snow, Jinx. <laughs> Having snowball fights. And I want to say this is the location where you change your clothes and tattoos and all that kind of stuff. I'm not mistaken. Good day. Dove and I have some new designs. Yeah, you change your hair, you tattoos. And so this is what I look like when my shirt is off. I got a lot of tattoos. Because why not? Yeah, we got some new stuff unlocked here, apparently. A flame and steel tattoo. It looks like splatter and yeah. with a Yeah, mostly head. just shoving a lot of ink into my skin. <laughs> well, that one's kind of cool. Do the different artists have different skill levels? <laughs> you do find different tattoos and, and like uh, hairstyles at different shops and stuff. But you do them all here. Oh, you just, like, find them? Yeah, you order. find them and purchase them. Yeah. Look at this one. <laughs> <laughs> That's the new one we just got. But, yeah. I, I also had this for a while. The exotic beard. Mm-hmm. Because that's when I'm working towards right now, guys. Because I'm, I'm, like, in real life, I mean, I'm, like, in between these two levels right here, I'd say. Yeah, well, why will you not let me fucking braid it? <laughs> yeah, that's that current one. I think I rocked this one for a little while that as well. That's cool, too. He looks horrible without a... You gotta yeah, have facial hair, he man. You have to. Like, I just don't have any respect for him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, I kind of changed my, my hairstyle out quite a bit, so I don't have to look, look the same all the time. It's funny, I used to not like beards. Just wasn't my thing. 
And now Jinx loves it. Now I like beards. So this is probably more accurate for how I look, guys. Although he has way more hair on his head than I do. And it's too blonde. Yeah. Here's a big old deer we got. The wild oh, hunt cool. tattoo. That one's pretty cool. You like it better than the dragon? Yeah. All right, we'll put the, the big old deer on there then. And we got this one locked as well. There they are. All right, if you're done. <laughs> <laughs> I must be on my way now. No, yeah, you kind of so just crazy. yeah, you just kind of do everything here board. in the town. You know, change your clothes or change your uh, your look. And then uh, I think this is the assassin's one. I don't remember how to do these. These are for like the high level assassinations. There you go. <laughs> it's a skill you can get. That guy in the crotch. Yeah, that's how I did it. Uh, but yeah, this is is a little town area. Again, they have a the ability to to build up a town. Something they haven't had in an Assassin's Creed game, I think, for a while. Was it the third one? You know what? I think Black Flag allowed you to improve your town. I don't think the Greek one did though. I don't recall they having one. I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a really fun game. Uh, again, it's probably my favorite Assassin's Creed over the last several that they've had. I can pet this dog, Jinx. Huh. Nobody wants you to pet him. Yeah, that's weird. Maybe it's because of the Yule Festival or something, but yeah, Maybe. I can't pet anybody. Maybe the dog, it's because the dog's laying down this time, I don't know. But normally you can pet the dog and then he'll follow you around everywhere. I'd just rather not have a festival if I can't <laughs> pet the pups. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I think we just needed him to be standing up. He didn't want to be pet while he's laying down. He's just trying to take a nap. Dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, we can customize like the way our place looks as well. You can place like these different things here. You can put like Odin's chariot here, I guess. If you just want to. Oh, like little decorative. Yeah, little items. decorative items here. Scarecrow, I suppose. So you can kind of place those all over the uh, all over the village. That's a scarecrow, huh? Uh, apparently so. Okay. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's gonna have to be it for this video. Unfortunately, we weren't able to do any of the story missions. That would have been nice. But yeah, there's just nothing. There was nothing good right now. Uh, I looked at this one here, and yeah, I don't think that was uh, a good mission for us to do here for the video. Uh, but we did some raids. Did some climbing. Got some treasures. Got some treasures. Improved our town a little bit. Got a mission here to build a cattle farm. <laughs> In order to have a great field, because these are all for the Yule Festival. Oh. I see. Because we need food. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, they have these little interesting events that happen with the, you know, depending on when you're playing the game, what time of year you're playing. You don't have to participate in them. And it's nice that they change the way that your village looks. Like, uh, the last one that I was playing with was, like, a very fall, you know, autumn, autumn look to it. So, yeah, it's interesting having your village change up the way it looks. I just wish it had kind of applied to the whole map sometimes. Maybe not have it a whole month long or something. I don't know. I don't know how you'd do like it. a week, maybe. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I don't know how you'd do it where you, uh, wouldn't bother people where they're stuck looking at it. You could turn it on and off, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. So, this is the last thing I wanted to show, because we had talked about it, is the jumps. Your Yums Vikings. So with the Yums Viking, you uh you can summon yours and then change the way yours looks up. So you can always change it whenever you want. And then you have all these uh slots here where you can put crew members. So these are who I currently have here. So I think this is the guy you're ax asking about. This oh, okay. blood axe. And you can see that he's from like another uh like another person. It's some guy named Rip. Rip Rambo. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's his character that I'm currently using. Uh, she's from... I think she's from the story. I got her in the story quest. And yeah, you can just kind of change any of these up. It doesn't really matter outside of their looks for the most part. With the exception of the story characters, which will have the unique stories to tell. So here's the community. Yams yeah, Vikings. Some pretty cool ones here. Torfi the Helmet Smasher. <laughs> uh, Ernie Glintai. So yeah, these are kind of cool. So, yeah, you can have ten here. Might be able to put more. Or, excuse me, you have a six here. I don't know if you can put more, if you unlock more. Found two you needed. Yeah, it's a cool little mechanic, just to kind of customize the Vikings that are on your ship. 
Uh, but yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Uh, we will again be gone for a week here. I think it's eight days or so. Uh, we'll be back on the 26th with some videos, and soon we'll be returning to our regular content, guys, where we'll have uh, you know more videos per week from, from Jinx and I. Uh, we've just had this little kind of down period here, you know, at least for, for our content. And that was largely because there wasn't, part of it was because there wasn't that many games to cover coming out. It was just kind of a, a lull in this time of year when it comes to new games. But the other part of it is just because, you know, Jinx has been having some trouble with her work. Yeah. A lot of trouble with her work. Uh, I think we talked about it in the last video we did, and it's only gotten worse, guys. They changed her schedule again. Again, yeah. Yep, again, guys. So just over the last three months, her, ch her schedule has completely changed three times. Just over the last three months. It's been really bad. And so it's just kind of messing everything up. Yeah, it's probably going to get worse. And causing a lot of havoc in our lives. Uh, but what are you going to do? you got to work, right? Yeah. Uh, she was looking for another job, but that's been more difficult than you'd think in a, uh, a period when everybody's quitting their jobs. Yeah, because everybody wants all these requirements and then they want to pay minimum wage. Yeah, good, well, that's oh, the biggest thing. You need a bachelor's degree. You need to speak seven languages. <laughs> and we're going to start out at $12 yeah, an hour. Yeah, 20 years experience. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and then you start out at like yeah minimum wage here, which is about like, twelve dollars no an hour. You can't find any fucking employees. Uh huh. <laughs> so yeah, Jinx can't get a job, a different job, because all of them are huge pay cuts for because you know she's a manager right now. So yeah. And so that's that's been the issue. I gotta stay where the money's at. So she's kind of been stuck there, just dealing with their crap, as they just kind of abuse their workers. But it is what it is. She's been kind of messing our schedule up, but hopefully we'll change or we'll come back to her. Our, our normal schedule sometime after returning from the vacation pretty much as soon as we have like a new game that comes out that we're we're looking to do a full series with we'll go ahead and start coming back to the uh you know i think four to six videos per week is what we we're we were doing before uh for our content and then of course i'll be continuing with the, the hearts fire and four and we'll be starting a ck3 series uh ck3 series with the uh the royal court expansion as well so yeah i do hope to see you guys on another video and uh thanks for watching